Hey everybody, Haku here with my review for this month's issue of The Walking Dead Comics. Uh, that'd be Comics Issue 179 or New World Order 5 out of 6. So we we kind of slowly worked our way into this with the first four, I think, and then we got a lot more this time around, I think, in terms of developing everything. Uh, so we definitely see the flaws now in the place. And... I think what's really well written about this is there's a lot of discussion to be had and even with myself I'm not quite sure about this place and I think that's the way we're supposed to feel where it's not necessarily evil but it's not perfect it's definitely it it's not perfect and some things are bad but it makes you think are those things unavo or are they unavoidable? So either way, let's start from the beginning, I guess. I really like the cover imagery, because um, actually before getting the issue, I hadn't, uh, I usually look ahead to whenever the um, new issue covers are out, which are usually a while in advance, but I hadn't looked in a while, a couple months, if I haven't, I hadn't seen this by the time I got it. So uh, I like the cover imagery a lot, uh, and I like that you don't really understand it until you read the actual issue, which is the case a lot of the time. But um, for this one in particular, I thought that was good. Uh, we start off with uh, where we ended, Sebastian being an arrogant cunt. He's not a cool guy. Not cool at all. Um, I love how... <laughs> I absolutely love, though, how Mercer backs him off with just a look where he slaps him. And he just stares at him quietly. Sebastian's like, I think I, sh I, think I should be going. Mercer's like, yeah, you probably should. Um, I really like the, that exchange. Um, and Mercer kind of makes excuses for it. They all kind of make excuses for it. But he's like, you know, outside, a lot worse happens than maybe getting slapped. In, like, stuff like, this is a sacrifice we make for civilization. Or, uh, now you see why we need to blow off steam. And stuff like that, he's kind of making excuses for the bad bits of the situation. And again, it just leaves me with this bad taste in my mouth where we see... The place has a lot of good going on, but it's like, can you look back? Like, I myself am, am conflicted. I don't know whether this place are, is bad or whether it's good. I can't really uh, tell or decide. I feel like I'm sort of on a Eugene level here. Um, Michonne's a little bit too far to one side to be my thoughts on it, and Magna's probably a little bit too far off, too. I may be a Eugene on this one. Um, but Sadiq explains what he walked into that time, um, and then we get the discussion of the upper class and the system that they have, and what's weird is it seems like a very fair system, but at the same time, ha like what Magna was saying, having a system set up to begin with that divides people into different groups to be played off one another, where they're dividing into, okay, you were allowed to have this, you're allowed to have this, you're allowed to have this, just the basic fact of having a system is kind of not good, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's very, very, conf not confusing for me, but it, it, it isn't like... I can't talk shit about it because it is a fair system in some ways, like I said in the live reaction. In some ways, you could argue that it is fairer than, I don't know how it is in other countries, but at least in America. In some ways, you could argue it's fairer than our actual system, where if you're born into a certain class, it's very difficult to move up into an upper class from where you are. Um, we don't, and they have specific systems set in place there where if you prove your merits and pass whatever tests or whatever, you get moved up. Now, of course, what I think and what I theorized with is we're probably going to learn where there are some people higher up, like the evil antagonistic characters are going to be the people that try to keep the lower classes down and keep their own places at the top. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's weird. And like, I don't remember if it was Michonne or Eugene who mentioned it, is dividing into classes, is that an unavoidable part of human human society? Is that something that's just going to happen either way? So having a fair system is better than no system at all? It's a really um, deep argument that I think is really, really cool. And Magna strongly against it. Magna thinks dividing people into classes, that is asking for bad shit. We've been through this before, all throughout human history, and it's never been good. 
Um, and Michonne, on the other side, she's okay with it. She's like, well, it seems to be a fair system, and it's keeping the peace, which is good enough. Um, but the way I look at it, that's easy for Michonne to say, because she knows that in this system, she's going to be a lawyer. She's going to be the upper class. So it's easy for Michonne to say she's cool with it. Um, we learn a lot more about the place, though, that they have multiple settlements, and all the characters, they get to see the good stuff. The ice cream, the restaurants, the football games. They get to see the good there, and Lance offers for Michonne to stay. Interestingly enough, not for the rest, but for Michonne at least to stay. Um, again, it's a very, very uh, deep sociological issue here. Um, but uh, Pamela then, as she's leaving, scolds Sebastian before she goes. And uh, like I theorized, I feel like Pamela's probably not that terrible of a character, but I bet she has a weak spot for terrible characters and kind of um, is this character that's bad in that she's enabling the bad characters. Um, so Michonne gives her sword to Eugene and stays behind. The convoy goes back to Alexandria. I love the way we kind of retract the journey to get to here. Uh, I freaking love Princess. She is so great. Uh, Eugene and Stephanie are kind of a thing now, but she stayed behind to work while he's taking them back to the uh, back to the Alexandria settlements. And then we get some hints at some colonial era shit where Pamela's like, ah, oh, what a shithole. And it kind of makes you think, oh, they're the colonists coming in here to tame the wildlands or whatever. But at the same time, Eugene's, Eugene and Magna, at least, we see the two of them sneak off. And Eugene's plan is to warn Rick and everyone ahead of time so that uh, they can be prepared and uh, to handle what's coming. Because I'm pretty certain the Commonwealth mentioned they had soldiers following behind, too. So, uh, some stuff, a standoff at least, is going to kick off. Um, I thought it was a good issue. I'm very excited for the future and where it leads. Um, I like the character work and the setting work here. But I think the big story that we're being told is that when you look at Michonne and look at the Commonwealth, I mentioned all this class system stuff. Michonne and the Commonwealth are kind of going through the same story, I think, where it's a story of the zombie apocalypse wiped everything out and you have a chance to move forward, a chance to be something new, something better. But instead, Michonne wants to go back. Michonne wants to give up. She's like, this isn't who I was, and it's not who I am anymore. So she gives up the sword. She doesn't want to be Apocalypse Michonne. She wants to go back to being a mom and a lawyer. Um, so she's she wants to go back to the past instead of moving on to the future, pretty much. And again, Michonne's a great character, but this is just seeing a flaw in her that now she's finally met her daughter, and she doesn't want to give that up. It's understandable, even if it is somewhat flawed. And the Commonwealth is the same way, where they set up this class system, and Pamela's getting everybody to go back, and it's based on what jobs you had before, not on what you can do now, or the skills you picked up or anything, or who you've become. It's based on who you were. And she's setting up a society trying to make that society like things once were and uh, even with sort of the colonial vibes we might be getting that way um, or the imperialistic vibes maybe um, we're sort of getting that vibe where her vision and idea and the whole vision and idea of the commonwealth is that they're not moving forward and making something new of human society they're trying to go back to how things were so again, I think that's a flaw. Instead of moving on, moving forward, trying to do better, they're just chasing their ideal of the past. They're chasing their vision of the past. And I think that's the story we're being told here with both the Commonwealth and Michonne. Um, so yeah, I think that's a cool story to be telling. I thought the chapter was really, really good and gave a lot of food for thought. Um, and I would say uh, I'd give it 8.5 evil people's ice creams out of 10. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I'll be back with uh, a video on next issue, I guess. So either way, like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this issue, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more The Walking Dead much more on the channel. Uh, mostly somewhat unrelated to that. Um, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. And if you want to link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then just ask and I can give you a link. So that's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.